from Amateur Radio Newsline Report number 2271. This is Ham Nation Headlines for Wednesday, May 12th, 2021. In Germany, hams are getting a virtual event as a substitute for Ham Radio Friedrichshafen, which was called off for the second year in a row. Hams disappointed by the cancellation of Ham Radio Friedrichshafen are being offered Ham Radio World, an industry trade show, as a virtual meeting place from Friday, June 25th to Sunday, June 27th. The CEO of Messe Friedrichshafen, Klaus Wellmann, called the event a digital version of Europe's leading amateur radio trade show. The three-day replacement event is free and is being coordinated with the DARC to schedule a variety of Ham Radio your topics presented on the virtual stage and a showcase of cutting-edge products. Simulating an in-person environment as much as possible on the platform, the event will feature opportunities for video chat and customizable avatars representing visitors. For additional details, visit the website in the Newsline script of this week's report. From at Radio Newsline, I'm Ed Durant, DD5LP. In Maine, hams are getting ready for a special event this month that will share the tragedy of an American submarine and honor those who died. 82 years after the submarine USS Squalo sank during a test dive in the Gulf of Maine, a group of amateur radio operators is devoting the anniversary date to remembering the tragedy. Although 33 survived the accident on May 23, 1939, 26 died. Members of the Maine Ham Radio Society will be calling QRZ at Special Event Station W1S, and a certificate will be awarded to hams making successful contacts with them. According to the Naval History and Heritage Command website, the sinking was attributed to a mechanical failure within the engine that caused the state-of-the-art submarine to begin taking on water. It took until the 13th of September of that same year for the squalus to be raised. It was brought to the Portsmouth Navy Yard and decommissioned that November. In May of the following year, it was recommissioned as the USS Sailfish. The hams are hoping that the special event will help everyone remember the Squalus, its crew, and the civilians on board. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Kevin Trotman, N5PRE. If you enjoy sending or simply receiving in the digital modes, there's a radio show you might want to tune into. You've probably heard the sound of MFSK-32 in the hand bands. But if you hear it in the shortwave broadcast bands, chances are you're hearing shortwave radiogram. It's a radio show that transmits text and images using digital modes familiar to radio amateurs. But the digital sounds are broadcast in AM. The weekly half-hour show airs on shortwave stations WRMI in Florida and WINB in Pennsylvania. Shortwave Radiogram just celebrated its 200th episode. The project began in 2012 on The Voice of America as VOA Radiogram. Producer Kim Andrew Elliott, KD9XB, explained why he created this unique program. With more and more countries finding more and more ways to block the Internet, we can use radio to get uncensored news into denied areas. Digital text modes via old analog shortwave radio transmitters can do this job. The content gets through even in reception conditions where voice content is difficult to understand. When Kim retired from VOA in 2017, he moved the show to WRMI and WINB and changed the name to Shortwave Radiogram. Every week, listeners from all over the U.S. and the world decode the text and images and post them on social media for discussion. Kim posts information and the show schedule online at swradiogram.net. I'm Ben Cobb, AK4AV, for Newsline. The nominating period for the 2021 Bill Pasternak WA6ITF Newsline Young Ham of the Year Award is coming to a close soon. The deadline for nominations is May 31st at midnight Eastern. The nominating form and all information can be found on our website, arnewsline.org. We'll present the award at the Huntsville Ham Fest Saturday, August 21st, and we hope to see you there. And that's all from the Amateur Radio Newsline, your independent source for amateur radio news for four decades and counting at arnewsline.org. With Ed Durant, DD5LP, Kevin Trotman, N5PRE, Ben Cobb, AK4AV, Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT at the news desk in New York, and our news team across the globe. I'm Don Wellbanks, AE5DW73. We'll see you next time here on Ham Nation.